welcome to Storytime Fun with Letters, where every week we'll be learning about a new letter. I'm Miss Carly. I'm Miss Silvana. And we have a very special guest joining us this week for Buckeye Airfare Aviation Week. Everyone say hello to Mayor Orsborn. Hello. 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 Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. And thank you guys for joining us at home also. Before we get started, we want to do our hello song. This is called Everybody Wave Hello, and it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Will you guys join us? You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. Everybody clap hello. Now our song is done. If you'd like to be included in our hello song, send a short 5 to 10 second video of your little one waving to library at buckeyeaz.gov. Now it's time to figure out which letter we're going to be talking about today. Well, our letter is hiding behind one of these books, but I need your help to help me figure out which book it's behind. Do you guys have any guesses? I think it's behind the yellow book. Let's see if it's back there, okay? It goes like this. What's our letter? Let's take a look. Are you behind the yellow book? Then we'll count to three and see if it's back there. Are you guys ready? All right, count with me. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, sneaky letter. Where could that letter be? How many books do we have left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Which one should we try next? You want to try purple? Let's try purple. All right, let's see if it's back there. You guys ready? What's our letter? Let's take a look. Are you behind the purple book? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, Good job! We found it on our second try! Does anyone know what letter that is? That's right, that is the letter F. Now how many books do we have left? One, two, three, four. All right, what color is this book? Blue. Say bye-bye blue book. Now how many books do we have left? Let's count them. One, two, three. Can you guys show me three? Good job. What color is this book? Red. Say bye-bye red book. Now how many books do we have left? One, two. What color is this book? Orange. Say bye bye, orange book. And now, how many books do we have left? Just one book left. And what color is our last book? Green. Say bye bye, green book. All right, stick around because we're going to be learning all about the letter F today. Now that we know that we're learning about the letter F, let's find out a little bit more information. First, our uppercase F looks like this and our lowercase f looks like that. Now the sound that f makes is Good job. All right, let's see what I have in my box that starts with the letter f. I have a frog. F is for frog. F is for frog. It's also for furry frog, <laughs> which I've never seen, furry frog. All right, what else do I have? Ooh, I have a football. F is for football. Football. Hey, the football season's over. Hopefully you caught the game and your team won. Uh, I love playing football and, uh, and hope that you do also. Great. All right, what else? Ooh, I have a fish. F is for fish. F is for fish and feast. You can eat fish. You go fishing and you bring them home and you eat them. Uh, it's also for fly fishing which is a, a fun way to catch fish. Very good. All right. Ooh, I have a fan. F is for fan. F is for fan. I think that's how this works. <laughs> and it's a fancy fan. It is very fancy. And you look very fancy holding it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very fancy. All right, I've got one more thing in my box that starts with the F, and it is a flag. It's a flag, and, and uh, this is one of my favorite things. And one of my favorite things that happens with this is a flyover uh, with the national anthem and, and planes flying over and honoring our country 
Absolutely love it. F is for flag. That's right. And one more thing that starts with F is flight. And we're going to be talking all about flight today in honor of Buckeye Airfare Aviation Week. So let's see what items you can find in your house that start with the letter F. talking about flight today, we have a really fun activity with five friendly airplanes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, can you guys show me five? It goes like this. Five friendly airplanes waiting to soar. One flew away. And then there were four. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Can you guys show me four? Good job. Four friendly airplanes resting by a tree. One flew away, and then there were three. Three friendly airplanes looking at you. One flew away, and then there were two. One, two. Two friendly airplanes sitting in the sun. One flew away, and then there was one. One friendly airplane ready for some fun. He flew away. Shoom. And then there were none. The, all the airplanes are gone. Should we bring back our airplanes? Let's see. How many do we have? Let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Good job, we have five airplanes. Thank you guys for counting with me. Mayor Orsborn, we're so glad that you could join us today for our story time about the letter F is for flight. And you wanna tell the kids at home something special that you have to share about flight? Yeah, uh, I have really, really enjoyed flight since I was just a little kid and uh, got to the point where I wanted to learn to fly by myself uh, not just in a big airplane uh, commercially, but be able to actually pilot my own plane. So I studied, uh, went to classes for it, and uh, trained, and I became a private pilot myself. In fact, awesome. this afternoon, uh, I'm flying from Buckeyes Airport, Buckeye Municipal Airport, to Kingman uh, for a, a quick business trip That's great. and back and uh, absolutely love flying. It's such a, such a thrill. That's really cool, right, guys? That's awesome. Yeah. And... Uh, before I do that, though, I get the wonderful opportunity to read a book called Wind Flyers with You. And uh, this is a book by Angela Johnson, illustrated by Lauren Long. And it's about some of my favorite people in our history, uh, the Tuskegee Airmen. And we're reading this with permission from Simon and Schuster. <clears throat> So great-great-uncle was a wind flyer, a smooth wind flyer, a Tuskegee wind flyer. His whole life, all he ever wanted to do was fly. With his arms flapping, he jumped off a chicken coop when he was five. I did not do that. <laughs> then he jumped off a barn into soft hay when he was seven. Uncle says it's because he watched, he watched some birds fly that day. When he was 11, he paid 75 cents to go up in a flying barnstormer. That's the old barnstormer uh, biplane. It's what heaven must be, said, uh, uncle says to me, with clouds like soft blankets saying, come on in, get warm, stay a while, and be a wind flyer too. They flew over the fields, over the lakes, and uncle just knew if he could get a good grip, those clouds would be his. He cried when they landed because then he knew that it was uh, what it was like to go into the wind, against the wind, beyond the wind. There was magic in the wind back then, he says. When he was older, Uncle became a Tuskegee Airman with the 332nd. 
He studied hard and flew in a war. Air Force didn't want us at first. Only four squadrons like us, he says, touching his mahogany face. And when his plane left the red Alabama dirt and flew in the air, he hoped he would never come down. He had finally become a wind flyer, a smooth wind flyer, a Tuskegee wind flyer, flying high above it all, never to touch the earth again, forever a wind flyer. When I ask him if it was a big war, Uncle says, they all are, but that's over now. We were something. Some of us didn't come back. But we never lost a plane we protected. Then Uncle points at the picture of him and the wind flyers. The, those smooth wind flyers, the, to, those Tuskegee wind flyers. Young and brave, brave and young, all. Uncle crop dusted some right after the war. That's the only way he could still fly. The only way he could still catch the clouds and feel the wind. He says flying is different now, though. Faster planes, more people than ever, but Uncle says the clouds still sound the same. He holds my hand, and we watch new wind flyers jet through the clouds. Then, once in a while, he takes me up, and we become the smooth wind flyers, Tuskegee wind flyers, flying into the wind, against the wind, beyond the wind, the magical wind. That's the end. That was such a great book. Thank you so much for sharing that with thank us. Thank you. And good luck on your flight today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And we have a really fun song today about an airplane taking flight. And this is called I'm an Airplane and it's to the tune of Oh My Darling. So we're going to get our airplanes out like this. You guys ready? You guys ready at home? You being airplanes? All right, let's do it. It goes like this. I'm an airplane, I'm an airplane, flying up into the sky. Flying higher, flying higher, as I watch the clouds go by. I'm an airplane, I'm an airplane, see me flying all around. Flying lower, flying lower, till I land down on the ground. Good job, that was awesome. Today for our home activity, we're going to show you guys how to make paper airplanes out of toilet paper rolls. So all you'll need is a toilet paper roll and some paper and glue and then crayons, markers, or paint or whatever you want to use to decorate it. And all we did is cut out the pieces of paper that we need. I colored mine with crayon and then I attached them to my toilet paper roll to look like an airplane. And then Mayor, can you talk about how you put yours together and what the different parts of the airplane are? Sure, the different parts. Well, mine uh, I colored red because that's one of my favorite colors. And uh, the, the red part or the toilet paper roll is the fuselage. Uh, the wings up on top uh, provide the lift so that the plane can fly and typically on the back here there are ailerons and that's what allows the plane uh, to turn side to side. Uh, you have an elevator in the back that um, that helps with uh, climbing or descending and uh, there's a yoke and I had a good pilot friend of mine that said if you push down on the yoke uh, trees get bigger, pull back, trees get smaller and that's exactly how, how this plane works. This is our uh, tail and uh, uh, has a rudder on the back which also helps with the uh, controllability of the plane. And then probably one of the most important parts uh, to get the plane off the ground is the propellers uh, on the front. Those provide the thrust that takes the wind across the wings which provides the lift to get the plane in the air. Very cool. Awesome. That's so awesome. tell me about how you made yours? Yeah, I use, um, for my propellers I use paper. And I kind of use two different colors, uh, like the blue and the yellow. 
I'm from a little tail. I had a triangle and I use some stickers too. So just be creative at home. If you have stickers, you have some glitter, you can put glitter in your plane. Just make it fun and make it fly. Yeah, those turned out great. Thank you so much for teaching us all about the airplane. Yes. Here's our literacy tip. A quick tip, if you read with your child just 20 minutes a day, he or she will be exposed to more than 600 hours of literacy learning before kindergarten. Now it's time for our Storytime Star of the Week, where every week we want to feature one of you guys as our Storytime Star. This week's star is... Parker! Let's learn a little bit more about Parker. Parker's favorite book is Where the Sidewalk Ends. Oh, what a great book. I love that one. Also, Parker loves to sing Proud to be an American, and he loves to discover new things. So let's everyone give a big wave and shout out to our friend Parker. Hi, Parker! Hey, Parker! If you would like your child to be featured in our video as the Storytime Star of the Week, send an email to library at buckeyeaz.gov. Include a picture of your child, their favorite book, and a fun fact about them. Check out these books featuring our Letter of the Week. Available at your library. Visit our website for more information. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We hope you guys had a lot of fun learning all about the letter F. I love the fun things that start with the letter F, like football and flag. And flight. So thank you guys for celebrating Buckeye Airfare Aviation Week with us. Make sure you guys join us next week to see which letter we'll be talking about then. But before we go, we've got to do our closing song, Skin em a Rink. Will you guys join us at home? You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Skin em a rinky dinky ding, skin em a rinky do. I love you. Skin em a rinky dinky ding, skin em a rinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Now it's time to go home, but I'll see you soon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you.